Shall we start with a toast? A toast. <laughs> so this is our first episode. Yay! Yay! Of our new vlog. Yes. That we have. It's a vlog. It's a vlog. <laughs> we haven't named it yet. No, we haven't. So. Um. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we probably shouldn't uh, brainstorm that here. Yeah. Yeah. On air. On air. <laughs> So we're gonna be doing most of these live. Mm. Now we're gonna be able to edit. Oh yeah. Theoretically when I learned I to know. edit. <laughs> but now I because there is that edit there, I'm like, we can it's too much power. Like it I is. feel like I'm overthinking everything I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> because I'm like, that could be cut out. That could be cut out. <laughs> also I'm like, there's no audience to like look at little hearts going on the screen. I know. It's kinda sad. To, um look at ourselves. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we have to look at Go ourselves. us. So yes. cheers. Cheers. Mm. What we are we are, drinking, Carmen? We are drinking um, something called Vaporetto. You speak Italian, don't you? Vaporetto. There you go. <laughs> uh, I don't really speak Italian, I know. <laughs> a bit of it. Okay. That's all. <laughs> well, better than me. Um, and this is from our our favorite wine subscription yes. service oh, yeah. <laughs> called Good Pear Days. Yep. We are not being sponsored by them. No, we'd like to be. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really good. It is really good. It's really fun. Um, so that is... I think mm -hmm. that's from my 12 days of mm -hmm. wine. <laughs> 12 days of bubbles. Um, advent calendar. Yeah, thing. that was a good one. So, yeah. Uh, maybe we should introduce ourselves for yes. people who don't know us. Yeah. So you I'll can go first. Okay, cool. I was going to start. <laughs> okay, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to go for it. Um, so I'm Kaylee. Um, I used to be the shop manager of a yarn story um, for about a year. And then I sadly moved to the civil service. But I'm here now. I'm having loads of fun. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't leave forever. Yeah, you didn't. You like you couldn't quite totally cut the cord. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. You can still find Kaylee in a shop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like very occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. About once a month. Um, and sometimes online. And sometimes online. Mm -hmm. Yes. You just finished a cal. Yeah. We yeah. We can talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that will be great. Um, yeah. And uh, so in terms of the kind of stuff I typically knit, um, I remember when I first started with Carmen, um, I was really into shawls and I don't think I've knit a single shawl since working here. I was gonna say, you were into shawls? What yeah, was that? I know. It, I think it was the thing is I used to be really afraid of sweater knitting mm. and so I thought like shawls are interesting, you can learn different techniques. Yeah. Um, I like the, how there's a lot of like nature themes within mm -hmm. um, shawl knitting a lot of the time and so I was like going through a phase of that and then I, during lockdown, got the confidence to knit my first sweater. Okay. Um, and I just got the bug. So uh, now I'm yes. typically knitting sweaters. A sweater. Yeah. Yeah. And where are you from originally? I grew up in Rhode Island. There you go. Um, in the States. Um, my mom is also a knitter and my grandmother is also a knitter. Um, my grandmother works in another yarn shop, and <laughs> like a my, yarn shop family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my mom, if you have uh, ever, well, if you were in my last cal, <laughs> she was also there. Or if you ever come to virtual knit night. Yeah, she's also around, <laughs> yeah. so she'll, you'll see her face. Um, and yeah, both of them taught me how to knit when I was around six years old, um, and then I got into it um, as I got older. Really, mm. um, I started off doing fancy dress kind of um scarves and stuff like uh, that yes. every i summer. had a phase of that yeah, <laughs> yeah I totally had a phase we'd of go to stuff. michael's um uh, okay. in, in the states and grandma would let us pick out our own yarn and then we'd uh go back my cousin and i used to go back and knit for ages Aww. and then we'd wear them in funny outfits cute <laughs> yeah we had this yarn shop in eugene um that had like it had lovely yarn but it mm. also like i don't know if it was a phase because i didn't go in there often enough in the industry of lots of like fancy yarns mm. um so i have this like confetti it, like i don't even know what to call it um but yeah i used to okay. a lot of i feel like confetti thing. though has come back <laughs> yeah but this was like sort of i know what you mean like the like a... popcorny like yeah it was silk though like it was oh, really wow. nice like oh this my was, gosh it was all really nice <laughs> yarn um, yeah, and I made this, like, other fuzzy thing. I've got some of them somewhere we could do, yeah, like, yeah. an archive. I know. Um, I wonder where mine are. I bet they're in my... My grandmother still has, like, a bin of toys that oh. we had from when we were, like, five or six years oh, old. Sweet. I bet it's in there. <laughs> mm. That's very sweet. Yeah. So how did you land in the UK? Maybe people want to. Yeah. Know. So my dad is uh, British. Um, he grew up in Leeds um, and then came to the States uh, for university where he met my mom. 
um, and so I'm half British as well and um, I decided to come over to <clears throat> finish my PhD because I was in a different PhD program in mm. Arizona um, and I left that one to <laughs> go to Sheffield to do a different PhD in the same subject though <laughs> they were just gonna pay me more for it so you know <laughs> go wherever the money is <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but no it was with the world kind of leading expert in my area so I couldn't turn it down and ended up in Sheffield where I met my partner Sam and then we moved down to Bath when he got a job in Bristol um, and I had been really pushing Sam to move to Bath instead of Bristol so that I could stock <laughs> this yarn shop that I was in love with and uh, so I moved like right across the street from the yarn shop. <laughs> she literally lives right across the street. <laughs> I remember you came down on yeah. uh, and your we like, house hunting mm -hmm. weekend, that's when we Yeah, met. and you were actually in the shop. I was yeah. actually in the shop. <laughs> I think it was like sale weekend or something. No, no, it wasn't. No. Something was going on though. Yeah, because there were... This was, was like... also too when we had to queue, there were only two people oh. allowed. And I remember I was stood at the door waiting, not for that long, but like, I don't know, 10-15 minutes and I was happy to wait. Um, but then Alex came in. Oh yeah. And Alex was so Alex where she was like, oh my gosh, there's a queue. I don't want people to think I'm jumping the queue. Like, so she stood at the back of the queue for a while. And then I think when you called me and you were like, Alex, come in. Yes, Alex works in the shop. Right. So and she didn't count in the queue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she wasn't the only staff member no, that would exactly. do that. Yeah, exactly. That was such an odd time. Uh, speaking of the radio reminded me this morning that today is the three year anniversary of lockdown. It's amazing. It's crazy. I honestly though thought it was like four years ago and that we had three years of lockdown. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I'm not, yeah, and my brain last year was also still lockdown-y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't, but it was still like pandemic-y. Well, when we went to h, &H last yeah. year, uh, we were still mask wearing. Yeah, we, were. we had to do tests yep. to get on the plane. It was right after I had my first COVID. Yeah, and that was March mm. last year. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it doesn't... That's crazy. That seems yeah. so long ago. Mm -hmm. Time. Time's weird. We're all messed up. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, timelines are totally messed up. Yeah. So, uh, we digress. I feel like we're going to digress a lot yeah. on this podcast. I know. We said we were going to keep it to half an hour, and I feel like... <laughs> That we're doing happen. really well. Yeah. On that so far. <laughs> We've only gotten through my intro. I haven't even asked Carmen about her and herself. <laughs> this is um yeah, this supposed to be like our just introduction to us. Mm -hmm. Short. Short, sweet, to yeah. the point. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. There is the edit button, I suppose. I guess so. <laughs> I love it though. But Carmen, let's uh, let's move on to you. Uh, tell me about yourself. <laughs> I feel like I'm interviewing you. Yeah, I know. Um, let's <laughs> tell see. the audience about yourself. Let me tell you about myself. Uh, so my name is Carmen, and I own a yarn story, um, which is in Bath, England. If we haven't mentioned that, <laughs> because we both sound American, so I understand why that might be confusing. Mm. Um, I'm from Eugene, Oregon, originally, and I moved to Europe 17 years ago. I started in Germany where I was an au pair mm. for my cousin mm -hmm. and his kids, twins, they are now 18, yeah. uh, which I is still can. crazy. Um, oh, Peaches, like Peaches, Peaches is coming to visit. She um, knew, she knew yeah. that we were, we were she, she's often the star of the show. So. She is. Peaches is my Irish setter. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we'll make her go on camera quite no. yet. But uh, if you hear a panting noise, that, that is, is Peaches. Peaches. Yes. <laughs> Not me oh, or Carmen. <laughs> Your face showed up. Um, yeah, so that's where I landed. And then, to make a very long story short, I worked at an engineering company there in the HR department. I did an MBA um, with uh, Goethe Business School in Frankfurt in association oh, okay. with Duke. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I didn't realize that was in Germany. I always thought that was in Ireland. No, that yeah. was in Germany. Um, that was like an 18 month program because it's an executive MBA oh, so it was like awesome. freaking fast. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, everybody in it was working full yeah, time. Because yeah. MBAs are usually what three years? Two or three I think years? it depends on yeah, the program. I think it's mostly two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this was about a year and a half. Um, it felt like three years. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's very intense. Um, and because it was this it was the first year they'd switched the program up when I started it. Mm. See, we're going on a tangent here. Um, so uh, when I had applied, it was supposed to just be, you were in Frankfurt and then you went to Duke. So it was just like a two school program. Okay. 
Uh, but then they switched it up and then it was a four school program. Mm -hmm. So we had residencies in India, in Hyderabad with oh, the university wow. there. That's cool. And in Shanghai with the university there. Oh, cool. So suddenly, like, yeah. you know, a couple weekends in Frankfurt and like a couple in North Carolina turned into like quite a bit of travel. <laughs> like a global. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. That sounds so cool. Yes, it was It was quite cool. Um, unfortunately, I only got to spend a week in India because uh, mm -hmm. the Icelandic volcano erupted. Oh. And no one could fly. <laughs> it's really sad. I remember I had. To, I took a train to Frankfurt like three days in a row, like trying to catch a flight. Oh my gosh. And then they oh were like, oh, gosh. never mind. We'll just do the, the classes online. Yeah. On their timeline. Oh, gosh. So it was like 2 a.m. Yeah. I was trying to learn economics. I think it was like super crazy. Anyways. It's terrible. Um, so yes, and my partner at the time, uh, who also worked for the engineering company, we wanted to leave Germany, so then we moved to Ireland mm -hmm. for a year, um, and then we moved to the UK about a year later, mm -hmm. and in neither Ireland nor the UK could I find a job. Yep. Uh, they, I just, lots of resumes out, um, yep. lots of conversations with recruiters, but basically just a bunch of, um, you have no UK experience. Oh, that sucks. So we will not even give you yeah. an interview. Yeah. One day I got really fed up. Yeah. And I took my CV off of everything and was like, I'm starting my own business. And that is how yep. I started a yarn story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and here we are. We're going to have a nine-year yep. anniversary this year. That's amazing. Yeah. And you have business experience in the family, don't you? Yes. My parents owned a restaurant um, while I was growing up. They started that when I was three. My sister was just born. I think about that now, like mm. knowing what it takes to run a business, and I'm like, you guys were nuts. <laughs> like, what were you thinking, and I how know. did you manage that? I feel like the mm. 80s and 90s are a whole nother, whole nother thing. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, my dad was the only chef in the restaurant. It was a tiny little restaurant. The kitchen was like the size of a walk-in closet. My mom did all of the desserts mm. for the restaurant out of the house, and. When they first opened, they were open, I want to say, six days a week for lunch and dinner. Wow. My dad made every meal, and That's they had two small children. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know where they found the time. I don't know where they found the time, the effort, or the will. The, the <laughs> will or the money to do yeah, that. Like, yeah. Um, yes. So that is definitely the environment I grew up in, yeah. though, is very much entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh... I was also, I like to look back at my Girl Scout days, because mm -hmm. I was the top cookie seller. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like I had it in me. I was the top cookie seller as well. <laughs> so was Alex. <laughs> so was she? <laughs> I mean, I feel like everybody laughs about the Girl Scouts, but like, man, we learned some badass stuff there. Yeah, I had like the <laughs> best troop. I know. I had this really like tomboyish troop. Mm. Um, That's funny. So we did all these like sporty outdoors things. Yeah. I had this like great troop leader and yeah, yeah, we yeah. had a good troop leader we, too. Um, yeah, yeah. Girl I think my cookies. troop was troop five six eight. Oh, I don't. Remember. Which I you still remember, remember for some I reason. <laughs> what what level did you get to? I got to junior. Uh, I think junior. Yeah, and then I think I left. Okay. Yes. We became cadets, but we kind of, that was like, mm -hmm. then high school and everybody started right, going yeah, to different yeah. high schools and it sort of That was us a too. Bit. It was, um, uh, you know, it started off as brownies and then, um, so I was in brownies at school and then the same troop yeah. became the, what was it? Is it juniors after brownies? Juniors, yeah. Okay. Maybe I was a cadet then. So I think cause, I, cause that's the one with the, the awards. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. The blue food. uniform. Yeah. 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 I think it was that for like one year or something. Yeah, I think and that's then kind I of like where, stopped. Yeah. yeah, that's where I ended as well. Yeah. So Girl Scouts. Yay. Of America. Yay. <laughs> Maybe they'll sponsor us too. <laughs> if you would send us some cookies, <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. That would be great. <laughs> Although, I wonder if they have a gluten free option. Do they do gluten free now? Maybe. I feel like they should. I mean, they definitely they, should. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, mm -hmm. uh, so Good Pair Days and Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Should we start with what we're wearing since yes. we are accidentally Notching. twinsies today? We actually did not coordinate did this not. at all. No. And I did think about it when I, I put it on. I thought about it as well. I was like, I wonder if Kaylee's going to wear this. Like, we talked about her hair earlier. Yeah, we, we didn't did. talk about what we were going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. And I was putting it on and I thought, what are the chances? Carmen has so many, like, sweaters. I don't actually <laughs> Do have not. that many sweaters. Okay. No. Um, 
And I've been wearing this one a lot, mm -hmm. so yeah. I've been wearing mine a lot too. So recently. it's the Easy V by yeah. Caitlin Hunter. Mm hmm. Or Boylan Knitwear. Boylan Knitwear. Knitwear or Knitworks. Knitworks. Caitlin Hunter. <laughs> yep, Caitlin Hunter. On Instagram, she's Boylan, that's why. Yes. Um, yeah. If you're looking for her after this. Yeah. Um, on Instagram, she is Boylan Knitwear or Knitworks or she might just be at Boyland. Um, yeah. But um, yes, I was. I mean, this was really popular. What in in the autumn? Autumn, we, yeah. Like the whole team fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have four of them. Yeah, made had... between us, you and I, Susan, Susan. and Alex. Has Alex, one yeah, one. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And we're all obsessed with spin cycle, so that's why I think. Yes. So the color work is all spin cycle mm -hmm. dream state. Mm -hmm. um, and then I used origin, Walcott Yarns origin, as the main. And you used? Used uh, Garth Nord Beacons in Tuscany mm -hmm. um, as my main, which is a DK. And this is actually an interesting mm -hmm. pattern. Yes, it is. Um, but uh, as you can see, it works in both DK and Worsted. And Worsted, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, because in uh, her pattern, she writes the gauge should be 20 stitches over like four, or yeah, four inches. Yeah, 10 um, centimeters. 10 centimeters. Yeah. And so um, that's like five stitches to the inch, which is typically a worsted weight gauge. Uh -huh. um, like it's pretty a true worsted weight if you're like knitting pretty like two gauge. Yeah. Um, so that's why we thought Origin would be perfect yep. for it. Um, but then when I, but in the pattern, she also says a D, uh, heavy DK. Yeah, I think she uses a DK. DK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. She has a very loose, she tends to have a very yes. loose gauge. Yes, that's what Alex was saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed that. I've, well, I've started and not finished another yeah. pattern of hers. But that's why um, it's so important to swatch, which we all hate yes. doing. Yes, yes. But I, I swatch as well. And I didn't like my fabric. I was getting gauge. Needle, right? Mm -hmm. um, on the four millimeter that she recommended, but I like Origin on a five millimeter, so mm -hmm. I have 19 stitches. Yeah, oh, that's good. Um, instead of 20, mm -hmm. but that worked out for me because I didn't, she wants this with like so much positive ease. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I didn't want quite that much, so I'm between the size four and the size five, I think, Yeah. with my 19 stitches, which is like perfect mm -hmm. for me. And I think I did size two in the end. Might have done size three. Um, I'll double check that. But, um, and we'll put it in the show notes, um, what I actually did. show notes? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. like, very minimal show notes. <laughs> a, a caption. <laughs> okay, I can write a caption. <laughs> <laughs> Just show notes is, like, the professional term. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. I mean, I'm, like, such a big YouTuber. <laughs> I should know this. <laughs> I'm, I've never been on YouTube. <laughs> but, um, I did either a two or a three. And I think I chose my size basically based on my my gauge, and because mm -hmm. I was getting I was a getting gauge, I remember yeah. with the Tuscany on this, um, so I was getting twenty stitches on a four. Um, that I maybe I didn't do that. I wrote this all down on Ravelry, but you did you did swatch. I remember because <laughs> yeah, you like I had a whole got the yarn went home and you're messaging me like oh, I swatched and I've got gauge and yeah. I'm starting and I was like but mm, no. yeah yeah you're gonna beat me now <laughs> yeah yeah oh that is true yeah. I did get gauge then yeah. yeah okay um so I got twenty stitches um which is really great mm -hmm. and it is a little bit more open I guess um you can't probably see it but it is more mm -hmm. open than I think if I did it on a three point seven five instead yeah. of a four but I think. Actually, the fabric looks pretty similar. Yeah, it does. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Even though we use different yarns. Yep. And Susan, we should show hers off at some point. We haven't yeah. photographed hers. Hers is gorgeous. Mm, she yeah. used... And um, it's just so different. Yeah. I mean, I feel like all three of ours, you can see the differences mm -hmm. in, in that, like, different tech, you know, different yarns were used, but they all worked out beautifully in their yeah. own way. Right? Yeah. She used a uh, Mayak Baby Yak Medium. Mm hmm um, And then she held it with a mohair for the color work, so yeah. it's, like, fuzzy and it's really... Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. We it's not, beautiful. We haven't shown that one off what, on mm -hmm. Instagram or anything. We yeah. Photographed it, so. We need to have a photographing session. We really need a photo shoot, actually. Yeah. yeah. We need to find a photographer. If you're in the Bath area. And you happen to be a photographer? <laughs> yes. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for your services. <laughs> we are. Um, right, so that's what we have, that's what we're wearing and have mm -hmm. knit. Um, what, should we talk about what we're working on? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So work in progress is... I whips. famously have a lot of yep. whips. It's a like running joke. It is a running joke. But also it shouldn't be a joke. There's no shame There's in whips. There's no shame in whips. 
um, I mean, obviously some are more active than others. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're also, we have our, <laughs> I know. our hide and hammer bags. I have the look 08. Look how big my looks. Here's the 03. This is so cute. This is a little baby one. I have a big one too. Yeah. See? I hey. love your little big one. They, she has like three of these available this weekend. Like this colorway See, was like a prototype. You're making it really difficult Sorry. for me because Sorry. I'm like, do I buy one of the ice dyed ones? Oh. Do I buy one of her new neon ones? Oh. But now you've told me that. <laughs> okay. So I um, I have been working on a little summer top. It is the number four camisole by my favorite things. Oh yeah, that's Twitter. Twitter. Does she have multiple camisoles? She does. Yeah. This mm -hmm. one's number four. Um, that's gonna be super cute. And then I'm using the fuchsia in nice. uh, knitting for olive, um, pure silk, and it looks like nothing at the moment because you start with like the strap bits and I've just connected them with one row. Yeah, so. yeah. I did the olive top last summer mm. and in the same thing, the pure mm. silk. Um, and I think that one starts similarly. Yeah. You, you feel like you're like, how is this ever going to fit? Yeah. Me? What, how is this going to become a piece of fabric? That yeah. Fits me? But I, I trust we'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you so, have? My whip is, I have two actually, okay. um, that I brought with me. Um, so this one will all be familiar to you, hopefully. If not, you should go and check it out. But, um, this is my shift again. Mm. And this was the... I haven't seen this in person in a while. Yeah, this is the one I was doing as Cal, um, in the shop. Um, and it ended on Monday. And of course, I did not meet the deadline, but that's fine. Okay. That's fine. We don't work to deadlines. No, we don't. <laughs> um, but I did actually pick up from my button band. Nice. There's my beautiful steak. Yay. First steak ever. <laughs> Ooh, your first steak ever. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I was nervous about uh -huh. it. Look at me running a cow. Never bought a steak. That hey, we all learn something <laughs> new know? every time. It's fine. Yeah. It's amazing. And um, actually that was one of the best things about the cow, to be honest, was that there were so many different people with different abilities on it. Mm. And um, I made everybody go around. This is what I do in my teaching at university, when I did teach at university, um, is I, on the last day of class, I used to make people go around and say one thing that they'd learned and one thing that they would take with them into the future. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> and so I made everybody do that on my cow. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And I feel like I want to go back and watch the recording yeah. of that. But everybody was saying that, yeah, they learned a lot. Um, they also conquered some fears about Aww, speaking. Um, one person on the cal, she was absolutely amazing. Never knit in the round before. Oh. Never done color work. Oh. Never steaked. Oh. Okay then. She was badass. That's and it was awesome. beautiful. It was like an abs like I was so jealous of her Aww. of her knit afterwards. I was like, I should have done that. I should have done those colors. It was gorgeous. It was like reds and mm -hmm. yellows and blues and <laughs> That's really cool. I think that's yeah. the nice thing about a cow in general is mm -hmm. that you like sort of have that confidence of the group. Yeah. To yeah. get yeah. you through exactly new techniques yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um that so I'll definitely be doing another cow. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm super happy with this. It was also too like everybody unanimously was saying how great the pattern was oh great and like how it was one of those patterns where you were never really bored mm -hmm. but it was like really simple is mm -hmm. the thing like yeah. so you there was like enough changes in the pattern to um keep you interested in it okay um and like it made it go a lot quicker rather than just being like oh my gosh you need to knit like 19 inches in stockinette like what, what am I gonna do? Right, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but it was still like mindless enough that you could do it like in front of the television. Nice. And stuff like that. I so. had to really mm -hmm. um like not stop myself from starting that cowl with you guys. Yeah. That pattern came out and I was like, I wanna make it, but I just Yeah. You made a good choice, I yeah. think. Um mm -hmm. Susan yes. did start it. Yeah. She fell prey to that temptation yes. when she had like four other projects on the go. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got like, it's okay to say no yeah. to a thing that you really want to do. Yeah. I think that's important because we mm -hmm. do all get sucked into like yeah. the, the pattern that comes up on Instagram. I know. And, and I mean, I love, I like, I am the first one to fall prey to that. Yeah. Yeah. Way, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but it's okay to say, nope, I'm going to do that later. I yeah. want to finish the projects I Definitely. have. Definitely. I think. Definitely. Yeah. It's so hard to do, though. I mean, I think also, too, like, you know, the way that, like, 
the world works in mm-hmm. terms of like the algorithms and like our like dopamine hits that we need to get yes. like it yeah it feels so nice to cast on a new project yes and yarn shops are trying to sell you yarn yeah <laughs> like, they're all look at the new things we have here's some great pattern suggestions yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and <laughs> just having a little uh prosecco little pouring break mm-hmm Oh, oh, oh. You were saying this is very fizzy. It's very fizzy. How do we feel about it? Do we like it? I like it. Yeah, it's nice. I also, um, I like the taste of it. I like mm-hmm. the fizziness of it. Yeah. I think it's, let me double check there. Yes, I was going to say it's quite dry. Yes. Um, but it's got little fruity hints, right? It does. I wish it was colder. Yeah. But I think that's more on us then. Yeah, that's more, that's not the, like, <laughs> Prosecco's yeah, fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also really like the bottle. It is a pretty. I model. think it's a very pretty label. I they gave me an ice bucket. I should have brought the ice bucket in here. Yes, oh, silly. It is a pretty bottle. Good shape. That might keep it for a candle. The other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> what were you gonna say? The other nice thing about Good Pair Days is they send you you get build up points. And mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I feel like I'm really trying to sell them because they know. really have not sponsored this at all. Oh, I do love it. Do you, but have you seen the cheese board cooler thing? That I know. I, I know. I want that. I know. Like, how do we get enough points for that? Yeah. So you build up points, um, and they send you like these free gifts, and they're always like useful gifts. Like, I am not really someone. Good gifts. Yeah. I am not someone to like get excited about a free gift because mm-hmm. most of the time it's like something you don't actually want. Yeah. But I have to say, they have yeah. really figured out how to like get you. Yeah. They like they know their target audience. Yes. And it's us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are definitely in their core yeah. demographic. We are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So back to uh, the, the things that you're probably here mm-hmm. for, which is not our little Yep. Um, so I have another whip. Yep. Uh, like an active whip. Me too. Um, I brought a second one as well. Oh, I haven't seen that in ages. That looks I know. Gorgeous. So I have the Cungus by Alex yes. Bird um, from her book, Traditions Revisited. I'm so glad you did this one. It's yeah. gorgeous. Um, so it's just a lovely shawl. I love the color too. Yeah, with um, it's got these braids in it. Mm-hmm. Two different types of braids. I don't remember. Lo- uh, no, Estonian. Well, one is like a vikel, vikel, and then there's oh, another yeah. type. Of... Isn't vikel the? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's one of the techniques. Yes, it's one of the techniques. So mm-hmm. They're. Um, and they're really easy. I've never done a braid before. Mm. Uh, she writes it out really well. Yeah, they are different. I, I mean, didn't actually realize that. Yes, it's two different types of braids. That's so, so cool. And it's very effective. Um, I am now at the largest point, so I will... I should be able to, like, mm-hmm. get through this. Um, but yeah. And I do need another shawl. I Similarly to what you are saying, you used to be... Like, I used to knit all these shawls, and I haven't knit one in a while. Yeah. And now I'm like, I really need a new piece of neckwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I'm also getting quite jealous of Max the Knitter, who always seems to have shawl going on. Well, and so I think we'll talk about that in a minute. This, yep. by the way, is Les Garçons um, BFL Twist DK um, in Abador's Waters and Vincent Highland Coop. Yeah, that's a good one. Contrast. Good, yeah. good ones. So, um, my other whip, which isn't even on needles because I've sewn, seamed it together because that's how amazing I am. Last time I saw this project, it was like this big. <laughs> I know. So this is the Trinigan, which is a cardigan. That's why you can see the wrong side. Yeah. Um, but here's on the right side of the back. That's the back. It's very pretty in person. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it. It's much it. more green in person. Yes. Um, it's reading very yellow on the camera. It's hard to see on the camera, but... Yeah. You can um you can see it there. Um and this is like a slip stitch technique mm-hmm. and you knit it flat but it's like done flat up until like up until the mm. um sleeves and then you like put it on two separate needles and then like there This is an Andrew Mowry as yeah, well. Yeah, this isn't is it? an Andrew yeah, Mowry. Okay. Um so trying to get in by Andrew Mowry. I'm using spin cycle dream state as the that's the yellow. Yep. And then I'm using Cumbria um, Worsted. It's so soft. And black bag. I actually yeah. knew you were using Cumbria, but I forgot. Yeah. And it's so soft. I, I love thought, Cumbria. I honestly thought that the Cumbria would maybe have too much drape in it because mm-hmm. I think the trying again is like a little bit more... I've actually never seen it, but mm. online it looks like it's quite 
like structured. Yeah, it does look a little bit on the stiff side. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. So I thought it wouldn't work for it, mm -hmm. but like, but you had but, that in stash. Yeah, I had this in stash. <laughs> yeah, I had basically all of this yarn in stash, which tells you how much salty dog I have freaking bought. <laughs> Like you do love salty dog. I, I do not know why I had. I think I had like four or five skeins. Like I don't even think I'll be able to use all the salty dog. Like, <laughs> like that is because, and I say that because I have two balls of it still wound up, and oh. I have one here. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, look at it. <laughs> you you yeah. love salty dog. I love salty dog. Yeah. So that's the contrast color, and then the main color is the Cumbria. Um. Also, too, I don't think I'll be able to use all of this because okay. I have two balls of it wound up, and I have oh. two more skeins of it. Okay. I don't know how I have that much Cumbria black peck, but I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the the fiber company. Let's see the little focus. It's a new camera. We're not yeah. really sure. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, that's it right there. Um, lovely, lovely yarn. I've been wanting to use this color too for ages. It's like ah, one of my absolute favorites. It's such a good color because it reads sort of black or mm -hmm. green depending on the light. Yeah. Um, you can like really see green. it. Yeah. Like, come on, block our faces out. Block our faces out. <laughs> um, it's a good color. Yeah, it's a really good yeah. color. It's amazing. It's got these little flecks in it. Um, yes, so I'm quite happy color. with it so far. I only have the sleeves to go. Um, this is what I was working on at Christmas. And then I started the shift again, Kyle. Yeah, but you've made good progress on that. Yeah, as well. yeah. So definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I have only the sleeves left. It should be good. And then the the band that goes around the neck. Okay. The neck. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we're actively working yeah. on. We also both brought a project to Frog. Yes. Because everybody loves seeing that. Yes. <laughs> and frogging's okay. Yes, it is. So I am. Um, I have a an Andrea Mowry spin cycle project. <laughs> I actually don't remember what this is called. It's this gorgeous is, yarn, isn't it's it? It's really gorgeous. It is Magpie Fibers Nest in mm -hmm. like undyed with Dream State in Mississippi Marsala. Which it's Spark, isn't it? Spark. Spark cardigan, yeah. Spark mm -hmm. and Spice. Mm -hmm. Um that she released I wanna say it was like summer twenty twenty. Uh, and I no, loved it. I think it was even before that. I don't think so. I think it was during Because my pandemic. mom made it is a thing. Oh, maybe she made it though. Yeah. Because I saw my mom at a Christmas and maybe I think it was she 2019. was making Because it. it was like the Rhinebeck Yeah, maybe it was sweater. 2019. Might have been 2019. Anyways, it's been on the needles for a while. Um, and I think I got stuck because I wasn't... You start with the sleeve mm. and I wasn't enjoying doing the color work across the four needles. Mm. Um, but now that we have the shorties, yes, I could give another try. But for now, I think I need to like officially call Frog this it. not a whip anymore. So scary. Frog it. So bye bye bye. <laughs> I think it is healthy to frog it and is. decide that this is not what we're spending time on anymore. No. So mm -hmm. show us. Show us mine. Why? So whip this back. I don't know if I'll be able to frog the whole thing. <gasps> well, no, you have. <laughs> I, have quite I cannot done. believe you're frogging this one, actually. <laughs> it just, I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous yarn. But I have made so many mistakes on it. Um, and I'm a little bit annoyed by it. And I think I just had like a mini breakdown being like, I cannot keep making mistakes and trying to Lots hide it. lace panels. Yeah. Oh, I did think you were farther, in fairness. No, I've already frogged half of it. Oh, have you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You were at the arms, weren't you? I was at the arms, okay. yeah. Um, so this is, I think it's called... No, it's not Pink Fizz. Yeah, it is Pink, pink fizz. fizz. Yeah. Um, by Andrew Mowry, and I was calling it Spicy Fizz, because um, <laughs> I am using Spicy Beaver in Magpie Fibers in both the Feather and the uh, Swanky Sock. So it is like the softest oh, fabric my <laughs> in the <God>. world. <laughs> okay, we have to turn this into a different sweater. Yes. I have already so a few projects like, I think I'm going to do instead. I think I'm going to do Joanna Ang's um, Fairy Bouquet. Okay. Um, it still has lace in it, um, but it is more simplistic. There are these gorgeous, gorgeous lace panels. And I actually do really like doing lace work, but um, I think there were just too many... It's just not your vibe right now. Yeah, it was not my vibe. Yeah. It was not my vibe. So, as Carmen says... I actually put it in the freezer. 
Ah, uh, yes, because mohair. Yeah. And that is a little trick. Hopefully... If you need to frog mohair, put See, it in the freezer first. It does like to, um, like to, uh, to get basically stuck. get stuck. Um, but it does. <laughs> so it's not as satisfying to watch me do this. <laughs> but because mm. it's also so, um, big, I think I'm going to have to put it on the um, ball winder. Oh, yeah. Just I can just leave this in. little cuff. There we go. There we go. There you go. Yay. Yes. yes. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> it's going. Now I'm at the other lace panel, so now it's stuck. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, yes, we just thought we'd we both let go of a project yes. that was um, we Basically loved sitting in, theory, in a corner. And it was sitting in a corner, sadly. And the yarn is too beautiful for it to sit in the corner. It is. Nobody puts beautiful yarn in the corner. No one puts beautiful yarn in the corner. <laughs> Um, I actually watched that movie a couple weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. It's such a good movie. It's, a, it's uh, leaving Netflix UK at the end of this month. No! So, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I so need to watch it. So go have a Dirty Dancing yeah. um, moment. It's. I forgot how... I hadn't actually seen it all the way through yeah. in a while, and I kind of forgot how, like, heavy the subject matter is, yes. actually. Yes, I like, mean, especially current environment. Well, yes, and... Not, but, not here, but... In like, the US. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all we ever talk about is sort of the, like, don't put baby in a corner, and like, you think about the lift and the dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I carried a watermelon. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just a really, it's a good film. It's such a good film. Through and through. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely classic. Every time I see that it's on television, I absolutely turn it on, stop everything that I'm doing, get some knitting, turn it yep. on. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. It's good. Uh, so, we brought up projects, which means we could talk about other projects we want to be knitting. Yep but maybe don't have time for. And you mentioned Max. Yes. And his shawls. Yes. Uh, and they're very, like, I just don't, well, I get it because Max is a designer. Mm -hmm. You know, he will knit all of his stuff himself, right? Yeah, yeah um, he does. Before, like, yeah. he doesn't hire people out. No. But I wish I was as productive as Max. <laughs> I know, he does, he is massively productive. Um, Yes, and but his latest one, which dropped today, Moon Bumps. Mm -hmm. um, oops, just giving away exactly what day we filmed this on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moon Bumps is, oh, uh, it's like really making me want to stray from like my plan because mm. I want to get both of these projects done. Yeah. But I have two schemes in my stash mm. of Spin Cycle. So Moon Bumps is a shawl with like an I-cord stripe of Spin yep. Cycle dyed in the wool and he's used a fluff yarn as the main yeah, color. That's amazing. Um, I think from a brand called Moondrake which I also happen to have in my stash from Rhinebeck. Are you using that for this one though? No. Yeah. I uh -huh. actually don't have enough of it. Yeah. Because he holds it double. I only have three skeins uh, in the four. I see. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna use some mohair from the shop and we've made kits. Yeah. Um, but I have two skeins of Spin Cycle in my stash that I thought could be cool. So I have this bruised ego. Gorgeous. Which is also just not gonna focus. It loves us too much. It does. Us. Um, but it's got these lovely, like, sort of gray blues in it, mm -hmm. in addition to purples. Or, this is a skein of Vibe Check, which I got... I love that. Before we had this colorway in the shop, um, mm -hmm. Alex was visiting um, Spin Cycle last summer and she brought this back for me. It's got these gorgeous blues. Mm -hmm. And I do think it would be really fun but I don't know what contrast color. But I would use one of the mohairs. One yeah. Of the many mohairs we have in the shop. Okay. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what my contrast color should be. Like, party wants to go black. Oh. And just like oh. let this. You know who would love that? Bing. Friends of ours. <laughs> yes, there are friends of ours that would love that. Um, so I don't know. I think that would be cool. I think, or like a really dark navy. Issachar has a really lovely navy. That hasn't been in stock in a while. Oh. But scratch that. <laughs> Knitting for all of them has a lovely navy. Yes, as they well. do. They have like quite a lot of blues that are beautiful. Yeah. They have a navy, a p deep petroleum, and actually, a, I think just petroleum. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, I am heavily considering mm -hmm. abandon not abandoning, but like I might cast this on because <laughs> it looks fun. What What do you have um, in mind for casting on? Well, so I bought a bunch of um, skeins of dyed in the wool in Family Jewels, and mm. so I'm thinking about casting that on and doing a metamorphic with Aramore Light in nice. the um, yellow color. Oh. Yeah, because I don't have like, 
I feel like yellow was always one of those colors for me. Um, I think it was something that my mom said. That you never buy. Yes, I know. <laughs> but I never use it as a main. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. That's a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I think it was because in like, I don't know, 2000 or something, the yellows that were out there were like those pale wallpaper, mm -hmm. yellowy, I know exactly like what kind of yellow you're talking 80, about. Yeah, yeah almost yeah. like mm -hmm. 80s wallpaper yellow. Yeah. Um, or like really pale, like they weren't mm -hmm. like, like really like milky, uh, they're not milky, creamy like, or like vibrant, <laughs> vibrant yeah. yellows, yeah. mustardies too. Yeah, you're a big um, fan of mustard. I'm a big fan of mustard. Yes. Um, and so I always have in my mind that I can't wear yellow, mm. but like I obviously can. Um, because like you can wear whatever color you want first you of all wear whatever color you want. <laughs> but also i love yellow like it makes me happy um uh, my walls in my flat are yellow <laughs> you do have yellow walls in yeah. my flat. <laughs> um so i think i'm gonna do that um i don't know if i'll do it next or if i'll wait till like basically summer to do it for autumn mm. because the other project i'm thinking of is the petite knit moby sweater which is that cabled guernsey-esque one oh, okay and that one requires a DK and it's held with a mohair. Oh. Um, and I bought some Garth Noir beacons, mm. which is this one here, but um, in rigging the white. Okay. With um, knitting for olive and white. Nice. Um, oh, that would be. So I took the stunning. last of the knitting for olive and white at that time. We okay. have it back we again. Have it back again. <laughs> we don't currently have beacons though. No. Um, we are waiting for Garth Noir to get stock of it which will be very exciting when they it do it will be very mm -hmm. exciting when they do um yeah, yeah. yes yeah, so the funny you say cables because i was um looking at the coco vest yesterday mm -hmm. which i had on which is by designer i don't know if it's bana or banna knits she's out of ireland um and she has a new cabled sweater called like the barbie sweater it's oh in like a gosh. hot pink yeah but it's just like a beautiful cabled like Irish Aaron oh, lovely. sort of yeah. sweater, but in Barbie pink, which obviously speaks to me. And I was like, yeah, that looks really nice. Mm. That sounds very Carmen. It does. Uh, obviously I'm partly drawn to the color, but I was yeah. like, walk away, walk away. You have too many whips. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that might go in my queue. Very nice. I don't really have a cable sweater. So. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm always turned off by cables because I always, I'm like a very impatient knitter. If oh. anybody knows anything about me, I'm a very <laughs> impatient person. I'm a very impatient knitter. Um, and I don't like the disruption of the flow <laughs> when knitting. Well, this is why cabling without a cable needle yes. is like key. And I think that was the thing is that I was always really scared of doing that. Mm. And then I tried it and it was fine. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah. I did my gin and juice. That was my lockdown oh, project. Right. You did that um, without a cable needle. I did that all without a oh, cable needle. gorgeous. Uh, I, that would have taken me way too long had I used a cable needle. You need another lockdown to do more knitting. I oh, know. <laughs> like, no, we're not putting we're that out of the world. Yeah. I'm not going out of the world. Um, bad vibes. Bad, bad vibes. vibes. <laughs> okay. Rewind. Rewind. Yeah. Uh, I just need to, like, not have so much admin to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of think we should wrap it up because we're going to make this 20 minutes and yeah, I have we zero idea how much time we yep. have. I have a feeling, I think this has been 18, so, uh... Yeah, maybe yeah, we a bit did longer. run out of batteries yeah, somewhere yeah, in between yeah. and had to uh, pause for a minute. So um, that is true. I think we'll say mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining us. Yes, I and hope we haven't put you off joining us again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all and yeah. um, interacting with you all through YouTube. Yes, and let New us know medium. what you want us to talk mm -hmm. about. We'll definitely yeah. do some episodes from the shop where we can show you yarn. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, as all the YouTubers say, like, subscribe, follow, comment. I don't know. What, I don't know. Like, subscribe, comment, I think. Like, it. subscribe, comment. Yeah, yeah. Um, it really helps us out. <laughs> it really helps us out. Yes. <laughs> Especially as a new... Brand new. Brand new yes. vlog slash podcast thing. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.